I'm Kat and I'm the in-house photographer for Picture based in Cape Town, South Africa. And in this session, we are talking about how to get authentic. And by that, we mean looks like they are unposed imagery and video for stock. So basically, as a photographer or videographer, it is your job to make the subjects comfortable in front of the camera. So you need to, before the shoot or literally on the shoot, just before you start shooting, you need to just chat to your subjects and just get to know them a little bit and get them to know you a little bit. So you need to open up, maybe tell them about yourself first, and then help, that'll help them to open up to you. And this just builds trust and it just shows that you're genuine and it shows that you know what you're doing and that you care and that you're going to show them in their best light with this shoot. So if your shoot is, let's say, an hour long, if you take the first 10 or 15 minutes just to chat to your subjects and just help them relax, it'll definitely pay off later. So you need to get to the shoot and you need to be prepared. You need to know what you need to capture and what will help with this is having either a shot list or references. And you can either send them to your subjects beforehand or you can give it to them just before the shoot. And this will just help them look through and just know what's going on and know what they're expected to do and what they need to do. And it'll just help them relax so much more. So during the shoot, you don't want many lulls. You want to keep the subjects busy. Otherwise, they're going to get bored. They're going to get frustrated. They're going to lose interest, especially if there's kids or younger people involved. So you want to just keep them busy, keep the shoot going, move from one shot to another as quickly as possible. So in doing this, you want to try and use as little gear and like excessive lights as possible. Use one light if you need to, natural light mostly if you can get away with it, because if there's too much going on, too many lights, especially for people who aren't usually models, you are just going to make them so intimidated and it's just going to put so much pressure on them and you're not going to get genuine photos out of them. So try keep it simple, keep it moving and just move around very easily from one shot to the next. That just keeps it interesting and fun for everyone. So in terms of props, you're going to want to definitely use some props because this just helps people be a lot more comfortable because people are like, oh, what do I do with my hands? So as soon as there's a prop or something to do or another person that they can lean on or interact with, it helps people just get so much more comfortable in front of the camera. And ultimately with stock, you are trying to tell a story and props help with that. So you want the subject engaging with something or someone all the time just so that you know they they're living life and you're just capturing it really so you want one option where they're looking at the camera and then do quite a few extra options where they're doing different things so you want them in motion you want them talking walking eating laughing interacting with people interacting with the food or the drink that they have in front of them just something that keeps them busy and keeps them moving and just makes it supernatural so in that sense, you need to help your subject by directing them, because no matter how good the model is, they can't see what you see. And overall, it's a team effort. And if you can see behind the camera that something's not looking right or something looks weird or something's in the wrong place, you need to let them know that and just help them by telling that to them. And then they can sort of make an adjustment and make it better. And then everyone wins. So from every shot, you're going to want to do a bunch of different expressions and poses so that you can get the most out of each shoot, each location and each situation within each location. So you can say if it's just a person sitting there, you can start off with a straight face and then you can go into some smiles. You can do a big smile or a small smile. You want to be careful of people because people get a little bit nervous in front of cameras. So sometimes they sort of over laugh and over act. So you have to sort of be careful of that and just direct them if they do start doing that, just to sort of tone it down a little bit, because otherwise you can't use any of those photos. And yeah, so use them laughing, get them angry, get them in pain, get them sad, do all of the range of emotions that you can get. And people are more than willing to do it. It's so much fun, actually, once you start doing it. At first they think, oh, I must look a little weird. And then they actually really enjoy it. So yeah, try to do as much of the emotions and expressions as you can. And what's helped me in the past is once you're a little bit into the shoot, 
Walk up to them, show them the back of your camera, show them a photo or a quick clip and just let them see what they're looking like because people can't visualize what we can. And if they can just see one photo or one short clip and see how great they look, that creates trust that you know what you're doing and that they're looking really good and then that helps them to relax and then you get better photos and videos out of them, especially kids. Although with kids, be careful because once you show them one, then after every single shot, they're going to want to see more photos. So be careful and approach lightly on that one.